I think the easiest way to describe episode 2 of 91 Days is that it has zero chill. There is no chill to this anime, and I'm really, really digging where basically everything is heading. Because, you know, we had a great first episode, and a, honestly, a spectacular and as good of a start with this type of, you know, mafia drama, prohibition era story that we could have gotten, and it easily easily could have burnt out all of its cool quirks and kinks it had to it, and this episode could have been complete and utter trash. Surprisingly, it's really damn good, and if I'm not mistaken, this is Anime Original 2, which is really good because that means we'll probably actually get an ending to this. Now there's two main things I really, really want to discuss with this episode. The first being the ending, and the second being the scene after the credits. So if you actually didn't watch after the credits, there is a scene that's going to majorly set up next week's episode, so go ahead and watch that. But let's get right into this. So the end scene, pretty much the whole point of this episode was we're kind of getting introduced to some of the other, you know, big bosses in this city, and our main character grows some alliances of sorts with these characters. It turns out that they are some of the people who helped murder his family, and we don't know this, of course, until the end of the episode. But he makes everyone assume he's on their side, and goes as far to even try to kill one of their targets, though he does fail. It was, I have to say, an amazing scene watching him in that hotel room basically trying to kill the guy, the gunshot sound effects. Basically, all the little, you know, sound cues they added to that scene really made it immersive. Watching the woman, you know, tremble in fear while this guy uses her as a hostage and his sick perverted fetishes of her, basically him getting whipped. I mean, getting whipped's all cool, but I mean, to that degree of pain, I don't know, man, that's a little fucked up even in my books, but who am I to judge, I guess? But he works with these people and it ends up that they capture one of the people that they're going after. You know, this guy killed one of his friends back in the day, so they take him to this graveyard to kill him, and he dies. But then Avilo, I think his name's pronounced Avilo, if I'm mispronouncing it, do forgive me, he then pulls a gun on him to get revenge for his family. So we are at this graveyard to get revenge for one guy, he kills him, and then Avilo, with no chill, when he turns around, shoots him in the gut and leaves him for dead. That was just like, man... This series has no chill, it's not holding back, it's really, it feels mature, it feels like something that isn't being censored, it's not being, you know, held back due to, you know, anime restrictions or a publisher or anything like that. It feels like someone had a creative vision and it's coming to life perfectly. Though there is some animation dips here and there, the overall, you know, presentation to this show when it wants to kick into high gear it kicks into high gear especially with that gunshot fight scene in the hotel room but man it was really freaking good in the after credit scenes i mean our main character is in a very very sticky situation i mean he killed someone he's supposed to be an ally with and has to make up a story on why he had to kill him so the, he takes everyone back to the crime scene and the only one dead is the original person who was supposed to get killed there the guy Vilo shot is no longer there and we see a gun get pushed up against his back he's probably not gonna die is he gonna get shot i think so but i think he's gonna turn away just before it gets fired he'll probably get scraped you know in the ribs or something like that but i mean if he can somehow talk his way out of this situation i will be utterly impressed i don't think he can but if he can do that, he will be one of the best main characters for this season. I mean, this revenge story, it has a lot going for it. It's not holding back. If it can continue doing this this entire season, it might be one of the best, if not the best, for this anime season. And I say that when we have things like Mob Psycho 100, you know, Alderman on the Sky, we still got JoJo and ReZero. It's got a lot to compete against, but if it can continue on this path, it might be my hidden gem of the season despite me anticipating it. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, this was a really good episode. The intro scenes when everyone is at the wedding and Avilo pretty much, you know, just insulting the guy, dodging his punches, that was also really good. But overall, ah man, I don't know. I don't see how he's going to get out of that situation, but if he does, he'll definitely be my favorite main character so far for the season. But if you guys watched 91 Days, episode number two, what did you think? Like, what did you think of that ending? What did you think of the end credit scene? Do you think Avila is going to get out of this situation unharmed? Is he going to talk his way out? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. So, until next time, everyone, please take care. Have a good one.